Sun Tzu wrote in The Art of War, If you know yourself, but not the enemy, for every victory gain, you will also suffer a defeat. If you decide to be an enemy of Jim Harbaugh, you probably know about his epic intensity and his insane competitiveness. However, if you just know about those two obvious traits, you'll probably suffer some degree of defeats against the 2010 NFL Coach of the Year and possibly an odd moment. 90 Sports Nostalgia presents Jim Harbaugh's Craziest Moment as an NFL Player. And don't forget to kindly please subscribe, give us a like, and check out more 90 Sports Nostalgia material. This epic story of Jim Harbaugh goes back to his playing days as an Indianapolis Colt. The former Chicago Bears quarterback signed as a free agent with the NFL team in the Hoosier State in 1994. During that year's NFL draft, analyst Mel Kuyper Jr. lashed out on the Colts for not drafting a quarterback. As the Baltimore native stated this, to pass up a Trent Dilfer when all you have is Jim Harbaugh, give me a break. Jim Harbaugh didn't respond with any vigorous actions or hatred, but then Colts GM Bill Tobin, who knew Harbaugh during his time in Chicago, aggressively attacked Kuyper and stood by Harbaugh, praising his competitiveness. Tobin seemed to be right. That's because for the 1995 season, Harbaugh was the AFC Player of the Year, runner-up in the MVP voting, and overachieved by leading the Colts to the AFC Championship game. During the 1996 season, the star quarterback led the Colts once again to the playoffs, but in 1997, that's when Harbaugh and the Colts had little success and this Jim Harbaugh craziest moment during his NFL days transpired. After the Colts lost their first seven games, former Buffalo Bills quarterback Jim Kelly, who was retired and working in broadcasting at the time, criticized Harbaugh. According to a Los Angeles Times report, Jim Kelly called Harbaugh a baby and suggested that Harbaugh over-dramatized his injuries. Shortly after these comments, Indianapolis was traveling to San Diego to face the Chargers, and Jim Kelly was scheduled to work on the game for NBC. But during an NBC production meeting, Harbaugh showed up uninvited and confronted Kelly. According to the Detroit Free Press's Mitch Album, Harbaugh and Kelly went into a room to discuss the matter. Harbaugh then told Album about the isolated meeting, saying, I hit him. I threw a couple of punches. Sometimes, you have to stand up for what you believe in. The former Michigan Wolverine standout was already forced to miss the San Diego game due to an ankle injury but had to miss three more games after breaking a bone in his hand due to punching Jim Kelly who spoke downwardly about Jim Harbaugh on a local TV show. Harbaugh also said, I regret throwing the punch, but I felt I had to do something since my toughness was being questioned. I regret that I have a crack in one of my bones in my hand. So to quickly summarize. Jim Harbaugh punched Jim Kelly because of his critical assessment of Harbaugh's toughness. Yes, we all know to a certain degree about Jim Harbaugh's unprecedented intensity and competitiveness. But the toughness aspect is who Jim Harbaugh is when it comes to football. Harbaugh preaches to his teams to be the most physical, to be the toughest mentally and physically. Furthermore, with the fullback arguably being an endangered position, Harbaugh goes against modern football wisdom and remains extremely fascinated with the physicality of the fullback position. Moreover, former 49ers guard Alex Boone thought Jim Harbaugh might be clinically insane because of how much he pushed guys to be tough and determined. When Jim Harbaugh said this quote and was forced to miss more games due to this punch, it may appear to several that Harbaugh only regrets throwing the punch because of the consequences of being injured and missing games. Meaning in Harbaugh's mind, he did the right thing because his football soul, the place where Harbaugh's football sensitivity dwells, was being questioned and attacked. If you believe in Sun Tzu's wisdom of knowing yourself but not the enemy will result in defeat, make sure to understand to never question Jim Harbaugh's toughness if you choose to be against Jim Harbaugh. Otherwise, Sun Tzu's prophecy might come true again.